Welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I am Connor Williams, and we're back with another one of our 24-7 News Report videos. Uh, as always, we start with our headline news, and the headline news is that Everton may look at Watford striker Emmanuel Dennis if Richarlison leaves this summer. Watford will sell the, will sell the Nigerian, but would want £20 million. This has come from Tom uh, Colomossi, sports journalist covering Midland clubs for Mail Sport, uh, the Daily Mail. Um, it's an interesting one, obviously Watford once again. Um, I've heard people say, surprisingly, we have a quite good relationship with them, despite obviously the fans and the sort of fan rivalry that Twitter and uh, Watford fans trampels up. The clubs actually have quite good um, relationships due to the Marco Silva deal, the Richarlison deal, the Abdelai Decore deal. There is a reason that they, you know, they sold Decore to us after Richarlison and Silva. The clubs clearly have a good relationship, despite the fans not liking it. Um, so I have heard that. Interestingly, uh, I was looking the other day at who is like Richarlison, um, you know, as near as you can get to him. And I had a look at Dennis because I saw um, a couple of people uh, who like who were on about him. And one lad who's called, I think it's can you pronounce it, Lawns on Twitter. He's a Watford fan. Um, he was saying that he he did. Dennis is a good side, like a good player, but you know, if you're gonna get rid, you need to sell. Um so yeah, I looked on FB ref um at Richarlison. Um and it, it does say that Emmanuel Dennis is very much similar to him. And when I compared them, they are very, very similar players. Um they have similar stats, similar goals. Dennis uh, doesn't have any penalties. He's had 10 goals, which Richarlison's had 10. Um, Dennis has a better shot on target percentage than Richarlison. He has more. He has less shots per 90, though. Um, I won't read all of the stats out. He has a less XG than Richarlison. Richarlison has 10.2, so he's on, you know, he's just under his XG, um, his goals to XG thingy. Whereas Dennis is 2.5 over. And again, like I said, Dennis is no penalties. Um, he seems to be able to play similar to Richarlison and he can play a front three. Um, his passing is uh, is better than Richarlison's as well. Um, his pass percentage is a lot better. Um, and he's got a couple more assists, I believe. Um, his defensive actions as well, which is an interesting one. We always speak about Richarlison and defensive actions. Dennis has made more tackles. Um, he's won more tackles than Richarlison, especially in the defensive third. Richarlison's only made 14 in the defensive third, whereas Dennis has made 28. Um, he's got more. He's got less presses than Richarlison, um, but he's got more successful presses than Richarlison. So he does, but only by like minuscule amounts. Uh, and he's playing in a Watford squad, which aren't very good. Um, I actually think, for what it's worth, he very much is a like-for-like -like replacement. Um, which is good to see. How many times do we see the club get like for like replacements wrong? Um, so it's interesting to see, and I think he's he really is a good um, a good. If you want exactly like for like, he's a decent one. Could even be a little bit better. Um, we did put on the poll: who would you uh, would you want Everton to sign Emmanuel Dennis? So far, one thousand seven hundred seventy-nine of you have voted. It's still open for another twenty-one hours. Sixty-one point eight percent of you have said yes. Thirty-eight point two have said no. You wouldn't want us to sign him. Um, a couple, um, couple of you are more worried about price, um, but the price is good. Twenty million, really good. Um, yeah, like I said, guys, I, I did my research on him on the stats. I, I can't say I've seen him play an awful lot, um, other than the times where Watford played us, because I, I don't make it a habit to watch Watford. But um, when I have watched, I've been quite impressed with him. Um, yeah, I, I, I really do. I, I don't think this is the worst signing in the world, um, if I'm going to be honest. There's, um, you know, in, in a world where Gareth Bale's knocking about um, at a grand age of, four, um, of at 30, whatever he is now, we've got a 24-year-old player who has proven, you know, 10 goals in the Premier League, uh, can play left wing, centre forward, striker and right, right wing. We need a replacement for Richarlison. Um, to me, he's very good. Obviously, he's played that game against us at 5-2. He got six, 26 minutes, got a goal, um, a goal and two assists, uh, which is just absolutely bloody dreadful. Um, so that's the, one of the games I 
very distinctly remember him in. Um, I don't think he played the other one. Uh, yeah, I really like this guy. To, to cut it all short, because I know I'm blabbering on, um, I actually really like him. I think he's a very, very clever, clever replacement by the club. Uh, well done, Felwell, Lampard or whoever's touting him. Um, yeah, really impressive. In other news, we have that Everton are linked with Dwight McNeil, yet another signing that we were linked with last year that we didn't get. Um, and now we look like we're going to get him at, well, the, we spark our interest again. Um, yeah, the report says Everton, Newcastle, Tottenham, Brentford, West Ham, Fulham uh, have all acquired to Burnley about Dwight McNeil. That's come from Graham Bailey, who writes for, he's a transfer correspondent for 90 Min Football. Um, we then asked on the Toffee Blues Twitter, would you take Dwight McNeil at Everton? It's still open for another 23 hours. Uh, it's got 543 votes, 42.9% said yes, 57.1% said no. Um, yeah, my thoughts on this, I think it's been and gone, hasn't it? Last year they were trying to, and the price is a massive problem. The price last year was far too expensive that they wanted. Now that they've been relegated, you'd think maybe cheaper, but realistically, probably not. We're holding back on the James Tarkowski announcement because there's not a good relationship between the two clubs right now. So they're going to try and swindle us a little bit here. And if they do sell him, they're not going to sell him to us, are they? You know, Newcastle, anyone else. I think out of spite, they're going to not sell him to us because, you know, the relationship's not there. If we have to hold off from announcing a player because these are upset with us, they're not, they're, they're not going to sell it to us, are they? So, um, yeah, also, I, I, I don't know if I rate Dwight McNeil as highly as the price was being put out. I think he's a good player, but I don't think he's worth the 30-odd million they wanted for him. Um, a good cross through the ball, but um, no, I don't think that's how Lampard wants to play either. Um, I think this is a miss for me. Um, I don't think he's that good uh, that we should be spending silly amounts of money or being swindled for him. If I was there, if I was Lampard and co, I'd just look at other options, and there will be other options for wingers out there. We just need to look a little bit harder. Um, we need to stop doing this thing, and it's the most Everton thing ever. We really lack the ability to look outside of the Premier League. Most of the players we sign are either currently in the Premier League or have played in the Premier League. We don't take gambles on players from other leagues that cost less. When you look at West Ham, they've got Kufal Suchek um, from the Czech Republic League. Um, and loads of other clubs do it. When you think some of the best players at Grey Star League have come from um, other, you know, and historical have come from other teams uh, and other leagues, some of them from the top five. So, like Aguero came from La Liga for the top five. Um, but even that, we don't even look at the top five leagues. We just have tunnel vision for the Prem. And everyone who's played in the Prem who now doesn't, that we seem to get to either been and gone their Premier League years or we get absolutely stitched up. Because Prem tax, which is another thing, you do get Prem tax if you're another Prem club. Um, yet the, the lack of ability to look outside of the English divisions, um, I, I say divisions, we don't even look in the championship, uh, is quite alarming. You know, Leicester do it. Leicester are a really good example. I don't know why I didn't use them first. All the players that they sign that we look at go, oh, wow, they're amazing. They don't come from the Prem. Jamie Vardy came from about five leagues below. Wilfred and Didi, the same. So lunch you. It, it really does wind me up um, that we seem to have a tunnel vision. But uh, alas, that's my little rant over. Um, and moving on to the next bit of news, uh, which is, but um, we've got news on Richarlison as well, the man himself um, and his uh, links away from the club. Um, potentially Tottenham Hotspur. It'll be interesting to see where he goes, obviously. Um, Chelsea were linked with him the other day. Um, but starting off... Um, yeah, Chelsea were linked with him, um, but Tottenham are also interested. But um, apparently, Tottenham won't meet the asking price Everton have set on him. The Blues have been um, the Blues forwards been linked with them, uh, and there is a fee of around fifty one million being rumoured. That's only one million more than what we spent on him. Um, David Ornstein has said Spurs are not willing to pay that amount. Uh, he said Tottenham won't come to the level of finance that Everton will be looking for at this point. Um, but there is a number of people around the game who think that Everton's financial position, they may 
as the window goes on, gets squeezed into accepting lower figures for him. And that's when Tottenham might feel they can pounce. But when you speak to certain sources around Everton, they think the move will end up happening before the transfer window. So I, I think he goes as well. I'll be annoyed if we don't make a profit or we make one million profit on him. That's really poor business once again by us. But what can you do if your hands are tied? Um, he wants to go. I, I'd ideally not want to sell him, but that's the cold hard reality of it. We can't afford to let this drag on. Though, if we sell him, we need to be able to get his replacement quickly. What I don't want us to do is wait, wait. Dennis is gone. We sell him, and we go. Oh, who do we get? And then we end up making panic um, decisions and getting players in that won't suit the club, but won't suit the position. It just needs to be a little bit smarter at this. Even it, like I will say this: if it meant cutting our losses just so we can get his replacement in. Maybe it's worth doing, but I, I, I'm hoping Chelsea come in with a big offer. Um, we also have the Everton are once again being linked with Matthias Nunes. According to French news outlet Foot Mercato, the Blues hold an interest in signing Nunes, but only if the club is taken over by Peter Kenyon-led consortium. On Tuesday evening, the Telegraph claimed the former United and Chelsea CEO, Kenyon, is spearheading a group that includes chief executive of Minneapolis-based talent real estate Mike Kaminsky and American businessman John Thornton. The consortium is believed to be taking advice from US law firm Wheel, Gottschall and Mans, along with investment specialist Michael Klein. Uh, on the subject of Nunes, it's also been claimed that Newcastle and Wolves, of course they are because he's Portuguese, are interested in the 23-year-old. Nunes was first linked with a move last summer to Everton, but that didn't materialise. Maybe, maybe this is the Americans coming in, spending big, you know, showing, oh, we've got big money, here it is. Um, I keep saying this, I don't think that's the type of midfielder we really need. We've lost Fabian Delph. Allen is supposedly rumoured to be leaving and he's old. We need a ball winning midfielder and that's not Nunes. Um, we need to get that sorted first in my eyes, but you can't just play with Decore like that because that's not Decore's best. Um, and you can't play with no defensive players and just vibes, it doesn't work. Um, we also have the truth behind James Tarkovsky's and Everton transfer as it's been emerged. Um, James Tarkovsky's free transfer to Everton is expected to be confirmed at the start of next month. But why have the Blues prioritised a centre-back as a first signing? The Echo understands that the deal for the 29-year-old is done, but Goodison and Park Chiefs are not expected to disclose the official until his contract expires, um, given the delicate situation between the clubs right now. Clarets have already announced that the player is heading for pastures new uh, this summer, though, and his decision um, has took them from relegation from their relegation from the Premier League. While the twice capped England international might um, have been turning out for a team that finished below Lampard's side, um, Tarkovsky just individually displays have caught the eye of Everton. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're just not breaking it because Burnley are a little bit touchy, um, and I'm not shocked by that. Um, I, yeah, I'm really not shocked um, after the sort of stuff they're writing to the Premier League. Maybe it's best just to just to leave it alone. Uh, it's annoying that we have to do that for them because I think they're being really sour grapes, but it's better to be safe than sorry, especially if the club are concerned they're breaking any rules. I don't think they have done, but just in case they have, you best not poke the bear. Um, but that is all I've got time for. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and comment down below your thoughts on Emmanuel Dennis. I do think he's a good like for like. Go check on FB Ref um, and have a look yourselves and a couple of whatever other stats websites you use. Um, let me know down below as well. If not him, who do you think we can get as a replacement for Richarlison? Who'd be a better replacement maybe if you can think of one? Um, let me know your thoughts on Nunes and the consortium. Um, do you think this will be their marquee signing to show they mean business? Um, and finally, let me know what you think about Spurs or how much are you willing to accept for Richarlison? Because I think what Spurs are saying is too little. Let me know all that good stuff and I'll see you guys soon.